guys welcome back this is art with mechanics life and today i want to show you something that i've been asked a lot over messages and people are scared people are thinking something's wrong with their car it's very simple and it has to do with a multimeter so my battery is currently failing on this car <clears throat> and if i put the probes on you can see that my battery is at 10.72 right now inside here I just put a brand new battery if I replace that battery with an old one Right now I'm going to put an old battery in this multimeter. Take the leads off, take the cover off, pull the battery out and put the old one in. Now I'm not going to put the cover back on, I'm just going to turn it on, you can see that it still works but it has this, it still works but it has this little battery light out. So we're going to put the probe back on, and, oops, put that guy back on, and we're going to power it on. Right now it's showing me 1168 and it's jumping up as you can see. Look what happens when I run the engine. So once again, as you know, I told you my battery is dying slowly. And with the old battery, look at this. This gets people tripped out big time. They think that something shortened out or there's no ground to the alternator and as you can see this is a new alternator right there um, I replaced it a year ago probably even less than that so you can see this crazy crazy number here uh, and it's gonna be that same number if I put the positive lead and then the negative lead on the alternator itself you can see that it's gonna jump up this gets people scared they think that there's a problem with the car but all that is is that battery so once again not all of these guys have this little battery light if it doesn't have it that means you would think that there's a problem with your voltage regulator on your alternator which again if we go back to off And we install the new battery and we run this at 20 you can see the difference this is at 14 volts 14.1 so that my alternator is fine my battery is the thing that's failing so I just wanted to make this short video for you guys because I had a lot of questions over email on what's going on with my car is my car getting burned or are the electronics going to get burned on the car so your car is fine if it has to do something with the uh, with the uh, multimeter um, of course you might have other problems you you might have the problems with the alternator or the battery itself in my case this is the problem here so i've knew that for many years that a low battery on a multimeter can give you problems but when i started having questions over youtube saying hey you know my car is having 22.4 volts on the uh, alternator it's pulling out this much it's it's out outputting this much that's when i decided to make a video for you guys to explain that there's absolutely no problem with the alternator in my case again it was just that battery and once again the little battery light on the uh, multimeter you sometimes don't see that some some of them don't have it especially with the cheaper ones cheaper versions like Harbor Freight and like Walmart uh, they might not have that little light 
and I'm not saying that this is good this is pretty cheap too this thing was like $25 so nothing compared to um, like a $60-$70 multimeter but just wanted to make this quick and short if this was helpful for you guys uh, leave me a thumbs up uh, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys are interested in seeing my mobile setup please comment let me know I'll make a video on how everything's located and how I set up this toolbox For watching